this is Heather with Keep It Simple Social Media. And in this quick video, I would like to show you the most recent updates on the Facebook business page for adding a post to both your Facebook business page and Instagram, while also showing you how you schedule that post today. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make sure that we are on our Facebook business page. And I can reconfirm this by looking in the top right hand corner and noticing the little round circle is of the account for Susan McGugan Personal Real Estate Corporation in Nanaimo on Vancouver Island. So we are on Susan's page and down here it says what's on your mind. Now if you just wanted to do a simple post and post it Immediately, you could go ahead and click what's on your mind and add your photos and create your post this way. But today, I'm going to show you how you post on both Instagram and Facebook at the same time and schedule the post for later in the week. So we're gonna go down here to the bottom where it says Meta Business Suite because today Facebook is Meta and the Business Suite is where we create our content. So we're gonna go ahead and click on Meta Business Suite. And when it opens, we have a lot of things that we can look at here. This is our schedule, our planner. And really, I want to continue on to the Meta Business Suite where I want to create. So in the top right-hand corner, it says Create. We're going to go ahead and click that box. And now we are in, I like to call this the studio, where we create our posts. Now you'll notice over here on the left-hand side, this has the Facebook logo in it, which tells us if I create the content here, it is being created for Facebook. However, if I click the little drop-down arrow, you will see that I can now connect the Instagram account as well, which means I can post on both Facebook and Instagram at the same time. So you have to make sure that your Instagram account is actually connected with your Facebook business page before you can do this process. Now the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna click on add a photo. You need to know where the content is that you want to add to this post, which means either a video or a photo, and I need to know where it is on my desktop. And we have clicked on the photo and it is added automatically right here. Now, one of the things that I wanna tell you is because Instagram can take up to 10 photos, you can add up to 10 photos and then you can rearrange them how you want them to appear within the post. But if the photos are different sizes, the ratio will be incorrect for you to also post to Instagram. So you might come across that while you're creating more than one photo in a post for Instagram. Now you're going to go down here where it says text and you're going to add your text. So I already had this all pre-written out so I copied it and then I added it. And I'm going to add my hashtags after I have posted or scheduled the post. I'm going to add the hashtags after. So I've got my content in here. Now I go down to this little location um, tab. I click on it and I want to add the location. So many times people forget to add the location and it's very frustrating when you're looking at a post and you have no idea where in the world this house is that is for sale um, as an example of a post. So you have to always remember that this is the World Wide Web and we should always know who you are, where you are, and what you do within the content of me seeing this post on Facebook. So I know that this is Susan McGugan. I know she's in real estate and I know it's Nanaimo, BC. So that helps answer all three of those questions. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go down to the bottom where it says publish now and next to it is our schedule button. We're gonna hit schedule 
and we're going to decide when we want this post to go out. In this case, it's going to be May 1st and switch here for May 1st. And what time? I like them to go out early in the morning. So I switch it to 6 a.m. on Monday, May 1st. And then I go down to the bottom and I just click schedule. Now, I could say that we are finished for now and wait for this post to come out tomorrow. But one of the other things that I want to show you is on Instagram, I can click Instagram and I could go into these three little dots right here and I could edit this post. Now, why do I want to edit it? Well, first of all, this URL here, this link, HTTPS, uh, it's not clickable within Instagram. So I'm just going to remove it. And then the last thing I want to do is I want to add my hashtags. Um, and you can add up to 30 hashtags. However, why put 30 in when 10 probably is the best amount uh, to add? And just decide what you want that relates to this post in order for people to find you. Once you've added the hashtags that you want and you're happy with everything, we're going to go ahead and we're going to save that post. And there we go. Now we have in our planner our posts that are going to come out tomorrow morning. There we go. There's our Facebook post and there's our Instagram post. So I showed you how to add content to Facebook and Instagram at the same time by going into the business suite, the meta business suite. But we also learned how to schedule the post and then we took it a step further and we learned that we can edit these posts before they go out just by clicking on them within the planner tab. So we're in the planner right now. If the bottom one down below is your content. So if you were within your content, looking at your content, trying to find your scheduled post, what you would have to do is go to the left and go into the planner. And that is where you would find your scheduled post. So yes, a few things have changed here within Facebook. It is always a moving target. It is still the number one way to get your um, homes as a real estate agent in front of as many potential buyers as possible while also satisfying your seller's marketing uh, needs. This is Heather and remember everyone, let's keep it simple.